Okay, so I want to give you something we practiced on Tuesday to begin with. So let's take an equation m divided by 7 equals negative 2. m divided by 7 equals negative 2. This is a division equation. How can I tell it's division? I look at my variable. It's divided by 7, and it equals negative 2. So maybe you can even figure it out in your head, but we want to go through the process because I'm going to show you how this is going to help us build on the new thing. Um, so it's division. What's the opposite of division that I need to use? Which is the operation that's multiplication. multiplication? It's the opposite. So I have to multiply. And hopefully by now we all know we have to multiply by what? What number should I multiply both sides by to eliminate this denominator? Mm, I believe it's 7. You multiply by the denominator on both sides. Okay? Because remember we learned on Tuesday, this 7 is in the numerator technically. This 7 is in the denominator. And when you have equivalent factors, they make 1 and they cancel. Okay. So I get an answer. M equals negative 2 times 7, negative 14. Easy. Now, I'm going to give you what's an equivalent equation. That means it's basically the same equation written a little differently. Okay. So this is an equivalent equation. Anytime two equations give you the same answer, they're equivalent. Here it goes. And it looks very similar, too. One-seventh times m equals negative 2. This is an equivalent equation. Okay. So in this first equation... We had to multiply by 7, right? Which is the same denominator here. So let me just do the same thing. Let's multiply by 7 on both sides here. Okay. What, what's going to happen with the 7 here and the 7 in the denominator? Well, same situation is here if you think about it. The seven's in the numerator, the seven's in the denominator, and they cancel. The seven's in the numerator, the seven's in the denominator. So they're going to cancel. Now I'm left with one times m. What's one times m, though? Think about how, how what happens when you multiply with m, uh, with one, rather. So... 1 times 8. What's 1 times 8? 1 times 2 is... 1 times m is m. So it really didn't change anything. But over here we got two, negative 2 times 7, so it's negative 14. Okay? So we get the same answer. That's why they're equivalent. So we just learned something. If you have a fraction... If you have a fraction and you multiply by the denominator, you can cancel out the denominator. Okay, just like we did there. All right. So what we're going to be looking at are equations like this. Two-thirds of W equals negative 12. Write that down. Two-thirds of W equals negative 12. So two-thirds of some number is negative 12. I don't know about you, but getting the number off the top of my head for the answer is not that easy. 
I don't think of in terms of two thirds. So I'm going to show you a way to do this. And the first step is what we did here. Anytime you have a fraction, let's multiply both sides by whatever the denominator is, in this case, three. So let's write that down. So these are going to be the steps to solve. Okay, step number one, multiply both sides by denominator. Multiply both sides by the denominator. Let's do that. My denominator is 3. Let's multiply both sides by 3. Okay. Let's see what happens after we do that. I have a 3 here and a 3 there. What have we learned happens here? With a th They cancel. But notice we don't have a 1, so it's not 1 times w. This time it's 2 times w. So I'm going to write that down, 2 times w, or 2w. And on the other side, we're going to multiply negative 12 times 3. And that's what? Negative 36. Okay. Well, now we have 2 w equals negative 36. That's a multiplication equation, but we can solve that. How do I get rid of that 2 if it's 2 times w? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. It's a multiplication equation. We always want to do the inverse. Well, it's multiplying already. What's the opposite of multiplying? So let's divide. You always want to do the opposite. Okay, so let's divide by the only number that's going to cancel this 2 in the numerator, 2. And lo and behold, we have 2, two over 2. Those cancel. That gives you W. And on the other side, we want negative 36 divided by 2, negative eight, 18. negative 18. So to, to answer the question, two thirds times negative 18 equals negative 12. So let's go over here to the steps and write down the step. If you noticed, we wound up dividing by the numerator. The numerator in the fraction two thirds is two. So that's what you're going to do. Divide by both sides by the numerator. Numerator. And that's basically how we're going to tackle these. We're going to divide or multiply both sides by the denominator, then go back and divide both sides by the numerator. And then we'll get an answer. Okay. So let's get to solving. Now we're going to solve. Okay. Number two, put this up a little bit. And number two, let's say we have negative two fifths. Negative two fifths times A equals eight. Negative two fifths times A equals eight. 
All right. So we want to get rid of this two fifths. So A tells us what its answer, what answer it has for us. Let's go back. Multiply both sides by denominator. What's my denominator? Five. And we have a choice. So I notice a negative. We've got to eliminate the negative at some point. So either we choose to multiply by negative five at the beginning, or on our next step, if we don't do that, we have to multiply, I'm sorry, we multiply both sides by negative five, or we divide both sides by negative two. So we either get rid of the negative at the start or at the end. I prefer to get rid of it right away. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 5. I just get rid of it right away. So this negative 5, and I'm going to consider this negative 5, they cancel. And no longer have a negative. So now I have just 2 and A, and they're being multiplied, so... 2a. And on the other side, it's 8 times negative 5. Negative 40. Okay? So we just, we did the first step. Multiply both sides by the denominator. Now, what's my numerator at the start of this problem? 2. Now we divide by that. Divide both sides by 2. Because that's going to cancel there. And now I just have A equals negative 40 divided by 2. Negative 40 divided by 2. It's negative 20. Okay. And that's our answer, negative 20. First, multiply by negative 5, then divide by 2, and you get an answer. Negative two-fifths of negative 20 is positive 8. Okay. Number three. Let's do negative 10 equals 5 sixths of m. Okay. Guys, focus on this, please. Okay, so you tell me, what's our first move? Look at the steps. Multiply by what? The fraction is 5, 6, and we want to multiply by the denominator. So we multiply by 6. Uh, I'm, it's going to look kind of weird, but all of this is multiplying. I'm going to put the 6 right there. And since this is negative, I don't want to confuse it with subtracting. I'm going to put parentheses around it. And I'm going to put a 6 in parentheses here. So it's 6 times negative 10. Okay? So let's see what we get. 6 times negative 10. Write the answer for that. Equals. I have this 6 in the denominator. This 6 in the numerator. They cancel. So I just have 5 times m. And now we do the second step. Divide both sides by the numerator. What's the numerator that's still there? Numerator is right there. It's 5. Okay. Cancel that. Now we just have to figure out what's negative 60 divided by 5? Negative 12. So negative 12 is what m is. All right. Okay, so I'd like you to try this one. Four. 7 halves, 7 over 2, times g equals 14. Okay, 7 halves 
times g equals 14. So go through the process. Figure out what's your denominator. Multiply both sides of this equation by that. I want to see you do it. Let's do it. Write it down and take this and multiply it on both sides. So what are we going to multiply both sides by? Help me out, please. Two. Yeah, because that's a denominator. Four times two is 28. And now the second step says divide both sides by the numerator. Tell me what number you divided. Well, remember, you want it to be the number that gets rid of the 7. And then the numerator is actually 7. Remember, that's a numerator. That's a denominator. So let's divide by 7. And I get G. Not too bad. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. Yes. Almost. We're done. Uh, number five. Okay. This one's going to be a little different. Okay. So, okay. Let's just do it. Four thirds times x equals negative nine. Go ahead and write that down. Four thirds of x equals negative nine. Okay. Look, let's see. We want to get rid of this three first. So let's multiply by. Ha ha, funny. Okay. So we cancel the, the threes, we get 4x. And on the other side, we have negative 9 times 3. What is that going to give us? Negative 27. Okay. So now we only have one thing left to do get rid of the 4. And you probably are going to discover something. We're going to run into, it's not an issue, but it's just something that happens occasionally with answers. Can I divide 4 into 27 evenly? No. no. Now, is there a number that I can reduce this fraction by? Well, let's see. What, what goes into 27 that also divides into 4? Not two, because this is odd, and that's even. Hmm? 24. Well, 24, well, 24 doesn't go into 4, and it also doesn't go into 20. It has to be a number smaller than either of these. So, yeah, whole number. I don't think, well, 3, three goes into 27. It doesn't go into 4 or even. Sometimes there's nothing. There's nothing that divides into both of them. So guess what? We just have negative 27 fourths. That's the answer. Sometimes the answer is a fraction. And we're okay with that. That's going to happen on today's assignment. Sometimes you will get fractional answers. Okay, last one. Okay, ready? Let's do four fifths of j 
equals six. Okay, four fifths times j equals six. So we should be able to go faster. What are we gonna multiply both sides by? Please help me out. By five. So that's gonna cancel. We're gonna be left with four times j equals 30. Now we're going to divide by Well, what was the numerator at the beginning? So let's divide by 4. And then we're going to get... Well, yeah, 4 doesn't go into 30, right? 4 doesn't go into 30 evenly. Can I reduce it, though? Is there something that divides into 4 and into 30? Two. When they're both even numbers like 30 and 4, I always start with 2. Okay. And then let's see what that gives us. 30 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2. 2. So I got 15 halves, and I don't believe there's anything that reduces after that. The only numbers that go into 15 are 5 and 3. And 2 is the only number is its prime, so 2 and 1. So the answer is 15 over 2. So every so often, this is going to happen. Okay? So today's assignment is going to have us doing mostly these type of equations. Okay? Any questions? All right, so the assignment is on Delta Math. Open up your Chromebooks, please. Delta Math.